Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to the Deadliest Catch. So, I did tell you guys that I was going to um, uh, start a new series and continue on with the series in this uh, when they bought out an update so that we could check it out. Well, they have bought out an update, as you can see up here, build 1.1.0. Uh, they added a new ship, the White Star, with free DLC. Uh, they fixed some bugs with the crew tasks, so that'd be interesting to see. Uh, and fixed a bug with winch hook start position. Added a ship change building in harbour, so that you could actually change ships. Now, um, I don't know whether or not um, I was going to start a new save game, which I set up or whether we continue on with the save game that we actually have. So what I thought we might do is we might start by continuing on with the original save game and see what happens. Um, I, or, or do, we have a, do we have a first look at this one? Maybe we, maybe we need to have a bit of a first look at this ship. Uh, let's have a look. So let's go into a new game. Let's go into career. Uh, captain's name. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably not good if I, uh, let's see. Let's call it the Itchy Crab. Uh, let's do the font colour as, uh, oh, no. Let's do the font colour as white. Uh, let's see, let's do a, a uh, are we going to use the new ship? That's the question. Uh, we'll probably use the white star. So there's the white star. That is the new ship. So let's uh, let's start by doing that. Uh, we shall use a black font color right there, right in the bottom corner there. That should be okay. Let's do a uh, red outline maybe, and change the thickness of that to that. There we go. Uh, all right. So uh, no shadow. I don't think. No, no shadow, no shadow at all. Let's turn that off. All right, so uh, let's let's give this a go and see what we think of it and see if anything has improved. So we will start a new game, new series, start from scratch again and see how we go. All right, hello, Captain Sumidium. Today's the 9th of the 4th, 2000, or the 4th of the 9th, I'm not sure. It's probably the 4th of the 9th over here in uh, Oz. We would say 9th to the 4th. And you are starting your season number one of king crab fishing on Bering Sea. It will take 10 days. Your current position on the overall leaderboard is first because we haven't even started the season. So, All right, so there you go. As you can see for starters, there is a vessel down here, um, which as, as per usual, we would click on that and we would uh, head out to sea. Over here, you can change the ship from uh, from this ship to the other one, which we don't want to do at this point in time. Um, so that's like a, a new thing that they've added in there to change the ship. Uh, in regards to the shop, uh, the first thing we are going to have to do is we're going to have to buy seven pots because we can't go out there without any pots. So we have eight pots. We're going to need eight more buoys and uh, we will have one spare so we've got nine there uh, we need we have one grappling hook on board we need to buy a spare we need to buy a penetrating oil we need to buy uh, a couple of pot repair kits perhaps and uh, we need some bait as well so I think what we might do is we might I uh, uh, still don't know what the difference between the baits are so we might actually stock up completely on that and uh, we might stock up completely on that as well and take that much out with us uh, we have a tote we might buy just one spare tote uh, so there's eight thousand six hundred and fifty dollars the other thing that I do want to try and do uh, what have we got in the boat at the moment we've got nine uh, or do we fill it up that's another eight thousand dollars or do we all right let's put another three let's put three thousand dollars worth of fuel in there the other thing that i do want to do is go into skills and see if i can unlock crew management by buying that because i do want to take 
one crew member out with me. That one there is 20,000 and we are not going to be able to afford that, I don't think. So let's uh, pop in here and uh, we definitely, we, well, I like, I thought Jay Ash was really pretty good. Um, Stanley Salmon was a bit of a uh, loser. Kurt Peterson was an absolute loser. So I think we might start with uh, Jay Ash and we will take him out there with us and see what he can do uh, to give it a really good test out. So... Uh, which I definitely, definitely want to do. Um, I could probably... We could probably... No, that's $20,000, so we can't. All right, beautiful. All right, so let's have a look at what we've got and where we are going to go. Now, we are looking for a decent place. 4.1 uh, degrees, 67.4 meters. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that's too deep for my liking here. Uh, not on rocks and uh, 4.1. Muddy, sandy, 67, 3.8. Let's find... I think that'll probably be quite good right there, to be honest. So we are going to head out there. It's going to take us 11 hours and 8 minutes. So we will accept that. And let's see what happens all right here we are we are i didn't realize that you had a torch on here uh press right control to open the tablet all right so that that works uh what we will do is we will put him on uh putting a pot on the launcher and we will set him up for pot setting and off he goes so let's see how he does that let's go into the boathouse or into the wheelhouse now Let's have a quick squiz at what we've got here. Let's start with this. We'll go to the external view. I did notice that uh, you can see they really need to do some work on the textures. Looks great on the sunny side. The shady side, they have completely and utterly messed up the shading on that. That's a pretty poor start. And I have had a look at this boat prior to, to starting this, to be honest. So uh, I will be honest with you. The other thing is that I've noticed is that they still haven't done the being able to spin around. Now, on this boat here, you've got all your crew working behind you. You're coming in to pick up pots. You don't know what's going on. You know, in real life, you would be able to spin around and have a look out the rear window and kind of get a bit of an idea on what your guys were doing rather than sort of trying to steer the boat in really, really poor conditions. And... Um, um, and you know i mean if you know what i if you know what i mean and you understand what i mean so i don't know i'm not overly uh i'm not overly uh impressed by that let's throw some of this in here let's uh, uh let's open this up there we shall uh we shall put a buoy on first okay so a little bit different to what we uh to what we are used to uh, in the sense of, uh, you know, look at that. You can see what I'm talking about there. It's a completely different, uh, it's definitely a completely different boat. So uh, let's get down here. Let's put uh, that there. Let's close that. And uh, what we can do as well is, well, what, what we should do is we should have Jay Ash on launching the pot as well. So that should be okay there beautiful while he's getting ready i've got this uh i've got the boat moving forward at two notches so that should be okay for us to get a bit of separation on our pots so you can see that there so yeah a little bit different a little bit different it's nice to be able to see our pots there but uh certainly not be nice to be able to see our pots uh not be able to see our pots from within the wheelhouse so there we go we'll do that we'll open that up and we shall grab ourselves some bait. Throw some bait in there. Hang the bait in. And... Oh, picked up the, the buoy then. Accidentally closed the pot. And off it goes. So they still haven't fixed that stupid... <clears throat> tiny little flick there that it does. You know, they wouldn't do that in real life, so... Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be pretty honest uh, ab about this update to you guys, and I'm going to tell you what I don't like. 
uh, and what I do think is pretty cool. You know, I think it's pretty cool having the uh, having the possibility to um, to do a different boat, which is uh, what we have done here. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. There we go, out it goes. I, uh, they, you know, they also mentioned that they talked about the hook and and all that type of stuff and uh, and making changes and uh, removing bugs for that. So I'm hoping that they did. Um, you know, I mean, to 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 release a boat with uh, with really poor textures, with really poor night textures, uh, or shading textures like that is is actually pretty poor. Uh, it wouldn't be hard for these guys to to change the neck rotation or the uh, or the head rotation on the um, uh, when you're in the wheelhouse. Uh, just so that you could spin spin your head around, look out that window there, and hopefully get a bit of an idea on what the crew are doing down here. Um, that wouldn't have been too hard for them to do. I'm not sure why they didn't do it. It uh, it kind of it's one of those things that makes sense to me. So uh, let's see. We'll grab some more bait there. Throw that in, and uh, we might. Uh, uh, all things, all things going well in this series. With after this update, we may actually, um, we may actually stay out here for uh, until we either are running low on fuel, or we have a full hull. I think before we head back in. So uh, let's see. Put that on there. Have a scratch of my head there. Open that up. Uh, we've run out of bait already, so let's uh, let's put some more in there. All right, and grab that. Throw it in there, and hopefully he will launch that with just a stupid little flick. All right, he's uh, he's walking along there. He's uh, he's just doing a little bit of a moonwalk while he works. It's it's okay to have high morale and to. And to moon work while you work, provided that you are not slowing the system down. Let's throw that in there. Uh, open that up. I actually don't mind doing all of this manually, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I quite enjoy it, but um, there we go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Fix some of these things up, I reckon. Is this our last one? Yes, it is. I'm not sure how many we can get on this boat. Uh, the texturing on the deck is fantastic. The moisture and all that type of stuff is absolutely brilliant. So I just don't know how we are going to go. Uh, why did he lower that this time? Okay, we'll grab some more of that. We will uh, crouch down there, throw that in there, and do that and get out of the way. All right, that is our last pot. So uh, what we might do is go into here and uh, put him back on resting for now. Uh, when we come back to it later, I am going to have him placing the pot on the launcher. I'm going to have him doing that and that, I think. I'll throw out the crabs. Uh, then he can store the pot hmm. should I catch and reel the pot the problem with catching and reeling the pot myself is uh, is that um, hmm, is that I've actually got to move up to it in the bar uh, I'll tell you what we'll do we'll throw him on there we will throw him off of that we we'll, over there we will do these three and he can store the pot and then he can go to crab sorting that sounds like it might be okay that sounds like a plan so we don't have him on anything else uh, where he is resting so what we will do is uh, we will head into the wheelhouse there all right and uh, put a little bit more off in this and see if we can't turn around at the moment we are facing uh, sort of north northwest so we will spin around and uh, and face our pots. We'll move out a little bit further and, and see what we can do. 
All right, so what I will do is uh, I will... I will actually see you uh, when I get lined up and uh, after we have rested. Um, and uh, we shall reel these pots in and see how we go on our first one, guys. All right, guys, I am back. I have uh, turned the uh, turned the boat around. It seems to be snowing out there. Joy, I have turned the boat around. Um, I have uh, waited for um, for a period of time, and now um, and now I'm approaching our first uh, our first pot, so that we can start reeling that in. Now, I just wanted to just double check quickly. Uh, we will go into the pot collecting mode. He is going to store the pot. We are going to do the rest of the work ourselves at this point in time. Um, so everything is ready to go now. Uh, this is, as I said, one of the things that uh, is a bit of a concern to me and a bit annoying. And it's probably going to be annoying with this boat. So we'll probably end up going back to the other boat. But I wanted to bring this boat into this review anyway. Um, of the update so uh, we we are going to have to go out here right you can see that see the horrible horrible shading horrible uh, we are going to have to go out here and I can't line this up unless I am out here um, whether or not because uh, you, you do need to see what your crew are doing so um, it probably takes away a little bit. I mean, I, I know a lot of people probably actually really enjoy this view anyway. Uh, I personally would prefer to be inside being immersed in uh, in what I'm doing, especially when we're in really, really rough seas and sort of keeping the boat stable and stuff. But uh, but here we go. Here it is. We have to go out, of, out uh, in this direction or we have to go to external view to be able to... Um, to be able to do what we need to do and that is to line this up so uh, let's see I mean we can line it up direction wise but not uh, not work out where we need to be there so let's go into uh, neutral let's jump out of here we don't have our hook out yet so I am going to have to get our hook out there's our grapple uh, let's see place that there use it and uh, let's see how we go Let's pull this one in. Uh, he, uh, we are going to have to raise the pot ourselves. We're also going to have to drop that hook down. Hopefully this hook doesn't. And we have crab, guys. We have crab. All right. Uh, let's bring this up here and pl place it on there. Get rid of that. Uh, I probably should have bought this up first. But uh, no worries. We can raise it now. Let's uh, bring that in there, like so. Open that up, and uh, I'm not sure how many crab we do have. And uh, dump it. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, bring that back. Now, where are you going, buddy? Okay, really? All right. Well, you can do that. Uh, 80 crabs. That was a that one. That one was a full pot, guys. That, so that that's a good start. That's a good start for us. All right, back up here. Yes, it's nice to have these wonderful cinematics, but let's sort some other problems out first, like the ability to be able to turn around and look, for goodness sakes. All right, let's go and uh, hit our next one. I have to go into uh, external view. Now, it goes into external view with that stupid cinematic there as well, so you need to spin around and uh, see what you are doing. It's a bit frosty out here. Jay Ash is sorting our crabs for us, which is pretty cool. He seems to be uh, doing an alright job. Let's uh, bring that down. Let's jump out and uh, grab that hook again. Get ready to throw this in. And there we go. Beautiful. We got it. We got it, guys. Alright, let's uh, raise that. Uh, bring that up one. Like so. All right, and we'll grab that. Yeah, doing it manually is not too bad, like doing it yourself. Uh, don't mind it too much. Don't mind it too much at all. Uh, let's let's bring that over for starters. Open that. Is he? Yeah, no, he does. He does stop sorting, and uh, dump that pot. There we go. Beautiful. 
All right, uh, bring that back over. He will do what he needs to do there. Uh, yeah, well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? What have we got? Uh, 15. We didn't get... Oh, yeah, we did. We got another full... Uh, we had. We got another full uh, pot there, so... Uh, that was leaving them out for 18 hours, guys. Which uh, seemed to do quite well, so... We'll spin that around, bring it up to the next one. And uh, see what we have got. Let's see what we have got. Alright, so hopefully hopefully a lot of this stuff has been sorted out. Hopefully we don't suffer the glitches in this series again of, uh, of what we suffered last time. I really do, like, I really do have high hopes for this. I really do have high hopes um, that, uh, that the new devs will sort it out. Let's uh, jump out and grab our hook. There we go. Let's throw him out and grab it. There we go. Good timing. Good timing, Simmy bring that up perfect uh, let's also clean these up uh, the the buoys are down here this time so uh, let's put that back in the pot let's grab that put put that away uh, let's bring that up while we are waiting and uh, throw these on here there we go beautiful place it on there get rid of that and uh, bring these forward there we go uh, open our pot and dump let's dump uh, what did we get in there bring that back as well so that we can have a look uh, 211 we've got uh, 29 in there so that's uh, two yeah okay not too bad not too bad at all that is uh, another full pot so all right you put that away buddy you put that one away. I will uh, raise this. And we shall... Actually, I probably should clean up as I'm going, actually. So that uh, none of us trip out. You get back to sorting there, mate. You get back to sorting. I will uh, grab out a tote as well. Because we are going to need that. And we shall dump this stuff out there. Nope, it's not going to let us. It's not going to let us. Are we going to have to go over here and dump? Yep, we are. All right, sweet. Uh, this is obviously where we're going to put these uh, freshies. Well, that's a big crab, isn't it? Let's grab that and uh, throw that in there. All right. We can drop the item down there. Uh, we don't want to fall in the hole. We definitely don't want to fall in the hole. Uh, let's see. Okay, beautiful. So as long as he's doing that, we can uh, we can move forward. Let's get some oomph into it and uh, go into our external view. So yeah, it's gonna it's uh, it, it is nice to be in a different uh, to be in a different boat. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure whether I actually like it. Um, uh, the boat is modelled really well. The textures uh, are done really really well, except for the night textures. Um, but that inability of, of looking around and seeing what you're doing is a bit of a problem for me. So I don't know how I don't know what you guys will think of it. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you if you have tried out this update. Uh, let me know what you think of it. So let's uh, drop that down to one and down to there. Let's get out and try and catch these on their way past. There we go. Beautiful. Bring you in. Hopefully this is uh, going to be another good haul. So we've had uh, we've we've actually had full pots here. So hmm, do we drop them again? Do we drop them again? You know we might we might actually start dropping him again. Let's go let's go into here. Let's take him off storing the pot uh, like that, and he can just uh, he can sort crabs and deck clean. Uh, and we might actually throw these out again, I think. We'll give it a go, see how it goes. We may as well. Uh, let's see, get rid of that. Uh, bring the table over. There we go. Beautiful. Open him up. Dump those. There we go. Bring the table back again. That's the only, <laughs> that, that's the only thing with the... Uh, 
actually what we could do is probably take him off that and we could actually do that that might be an idea mightn't it if we if we just take him off that uh, we can actually use that buoy again so let's uh, throw some more bait in here uh, hang the bait close that off and uh, launch the pot that's how a pot is launched guys that is how a pot is launched all right beautiful uh let's see let's go back up to the uh back up to the wheelhouse and we will move into our next pot so and uh yeah well this will give us an opportunity i mean a lot of people in the previous series were suggesting that we uh that we uh relaunch our pots if we are getting good crab and uh so we will try that out we will definitely try that out Okay, get into this one. We are moving up, moving up. Okay, back out. Hopefully I can uh, get out here in time to catch that, and I can. There we go, beautiful. All right, raise you. Let's see what, uh, let's see what we have here. What do we have? It looks like we've got another full one. Okay, that's beautiful. Throw that on there lovely quite happy about that quite happy about that indeed uh, let's open that up drop those there they go beautiful uh, throw you back he's uh, he's standing on the tote he's standing in a tote uh, throw that one up there there we go that's uh, yep that's all okay that's all good uh, do we have any more bait? Yes, we do. We still have more bait in there, so let's uh, throw that in there. Throw that there and uh, launch you. Off you go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's pick up the tote if we can and uh, throw these into the hull. In there. Let's uh, go and pick up these ones here and throw these overboard. Uh, we don't want to throw them over there. We might, th oh, uh, we might throw them over there. I think, uh, yeah, that might be all right. And drop that down there. Okay, lovely. Uh, what do we got in there? Three hundred and four. So we should be able to bring another couple of pots in. At least another two pots, anyway. So let's see what we can do. I'm uh, interested in seeing how this uh, our name that we put on this boat does not show up on it. That's pretty interesting. All right, let's uh, move up to this one here. Now I left these pots out for 18 hours. So uh, after we deployed them all, I I, uh, I waited for 18 hours. So yeah, which looks like it might have been a good idea to be honest, because uh, they've they've certainly worked out well. Okay, let's get out here and... Oh, come on. Don't lose it there, boy. There we go. Beautiful. All right. That seems to be working okay. Let's bring that up. He's uh, still sorting away. It looks like we're uh, not getting a 50% ratio, though, does it? Let's grab that. This looks like another full pot here. I'm actually pretty happy with this haul, guys. Uh, let's see bring that in again not sure how these guys are gonna how this crew what changes they've made to the crew and whether they are going to work any better than what they have but uh, we shall soon see pick up that buoy throw him back on there uh, we're gonna have to get some more bait out I think yep we are throw that in there I can't remember I think it was one and a half that we went through or something was it there we go, take a piece of bait. One and a half that we went through to deploy seven pots, so uh, close you off and uh, off you go. Off you go. Bring you back down and uh, we shall move on to the next one. How, what have we got there? Uh, 359, okay, so we can definitely uh, bring at least another one in. At least another one. Uh, let's see, how far away are we from this? We are, we're straying a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Alright, there we go. 
So what have we deployed? We've deployed three and we've got three on there. Or do we have more? I thought we only had seven pots. But we might have eight. It looks like we've got eight pots. Okay. There you go. That's me miscalculating. Okay, we'll turn you off and grab you and throw you out there. There we go. I reckon it'd be pretty hard in really, really rough seas, wouldn't it? Bring you in. Throw you on there. It looks like it might be another full pot as well, uh, which is pretty good for us. Move you over. And let you guys out. More crab. More crab. Beautiful. Perfect. Uh, let's pick up the tote. Let's grab what's here, which is 22. There's 22 crabs there. Let's go and grab that one. Toss you overboard. Alright, lovely. Uh, we'll just grab you as well. While we're here and drop that there. Uh, let's throw some more bait in. And uh, I've got to put that buoy on. I didn't do it in sequence. So... Uh, can we close that? Yes, we can. Can we put that buoy on there? Yep, we can. And uh, let's let this one out. Out you go. Uh, 414. Uh, we probably can because it only because they only do a maximum of 80 crabs. Uh, we can. We've probably got enough room to uh, bring the next ones on. So let's bring it on. There we go. That's a little bit. Uh, that's a little bit off, isn't it? It's certainly not a straight line. And this is what I mean. You know, if you're inside the ship, you know, it's probably, you know, you can concentrate while everybody's doing everything. You can con concentrate on, uh, on just, um, you know, getting things lined up, making things nice and straight. But uh, I mean, that'll be all right on um, on pot deployment, uh, on the pot setting, but uh, probably not on the pot collecting. I don't think so. All right, in we go. It's going to be interesting to see. I don't think this is. I don't think this boat's as big as the one that we're used to. So it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, what the difference in handling is between this and uh, and the previous one that we were on. So there we go. Got you, beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean that'll be that'll actually be pretty interesting to see. How are you going there? Three ninety seven. There we go. He's doing all right. He's kind of a little bit off though, isn't he? He may need to spin around a little bit there, bud. Alright, let's uh, throw that on. That looks like a good pot as well, so hopefully it is. Let's uh, move that over, open that door, dump that. Uh, first move the sorting table. I was a little bit too quick there. A little bit too efficient, guys. A little bit too efficient. Let's move that back there and see what we are at. 472 so that was definitely another full pot so uh, that's interesting uh, let's get this one out again and we will hang you there now we have a uh, buoy on it and we have a bait in it so out you go buddy out you go we'll raise lower that and uh, we might put him on um, just for a moment, we might actually put Jay on uh, putting a pot on the launcher and go into pot setting mode for now. So I will go back up. I will throw one, two notches on there and uh, we shall start. We shall start. He can throw those in. I will launch them. Should be able to do this relatively efficiently, I think. Uh, we've only got two notches there, so that should be okay. Alright, buoys in there. Uh, and some more bait there. There we go. Close the pot and uh, off we go. Bit of a launch bring that back down and he should uh, throw another pot on straight away so uh, we, we shall be ready for that by getting another buoy 
there we go. Uh, and that's probably, yeah, that's, that's, that's a decent distance, I reckon. That's a pretty decent distance for it. Okay, throw you on there. Throw you in there. Do we have any more? Yes, we do. We're probably going to... Probably going to have to open up another... Uh, shred another bait, I think. Out you go. There we go. And off he goes again. Beautiful. Last pot. Last pot going out. There we go. Here it comes. Here it comes, guys. There we go. Down you go. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Buoys are in. And... Uh, yep, we are. We are going to have to. So I might uh, I might actually use a sardine block this time. Which is a, a cheaper bait, but uh, again, not sure whether or not it makes any kind of difference, to be honest. Let's throw that there. Throw that there. And uh, we are ready to launch. Lower that there. Uh, put him back on... Uh, oh no, he could just stay on sorting. Uh, let's get the tote there. Throw those in. So that for us is uh, basically, uh, with the eight pots that we have, is a full haul. Uh, we couldn't haul any more than what we did there, which was uh, 555 kilos with uh, seven pots. So that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. I am going to go up in here and uh, I am going to probably stray a little and bring this boat around so that we can line up with those and then in the next episode which we will do a next episode because we haven't really suffered any problems so uh, let's leave it at that for now um, and in the next episode we will pick these up and uh, then we will probably, I don't think we'll deploy them again. It will be interesting to see in the next episode what the uh, redeployment does and whether it actually uh, whether it actually reduces the amount of crabs that we have. Because it obviously is a pretty good crabbing area. Um, but whether you sort of use that up straight away or not, I'm not sure to be honest. So... I'm just going to bring another notch down there. And uh, Jay Ash is sorting out those crabs, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, guys. So if you... Uh, so there you go. The update. The, uh, the new ship. And uh, apparently changes to crew. So let's see how we go. We will try out another series. Um, if we do start suffering all those problems again and some major problems like we did in the previous series, uh, I will stop it again. So, uh, and then we will we will probably wait until more updates come out. Uh, possibly even wait 12 months until they've released quite a few updates. I'm not sure, but uh, we will see what happens, guys. So. Um, yeah there you go thanks for watching this one if you did like it please hit like uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and uh, i will see you in the next episode of the deadliest catch see ya